<laughs> no! <laughs> what did I say I would never do? Buy second hand again. But on this one, I couldn't help it. The deal was just too good. The price was too good. The car was too good. Just check this out. So this is a lossy 5T 2.0. Whilst the body has a few little marks and dinks on it, when we check out the inside, it is in mint condition. Nowhere on the out drives, nowhere on the disc pads. Even on the rear CVDs, there's nowhere. The chassis has hardly any marks on it. And the tires, nowhere whatsoever. This car is in absolute mint condition. There's one issue with it, it's totally nutly stock. So in this video, we're gonna get some upgrades on it and then we're gonna take it out and have an absolute blast. First thing we're gonna change is this exhaust. Look at this stock exhaust. It's tiny, it's horrible. That's gonna sound like a bumblebee in a tin can. We're gonna be fitting this Victory RC Big Bore Unsilenced Exhaust. Better known as an ASMO exhaust. <laughs> and I might need your ear defenders for this one. We're also gonna fit these ATOP axle extenders. A new Power HD 65 kilo servo. I've already put one in on the steering because the stock servos on these, they're just utter garbage. They really are. Finally, this stock body wouldn't last five seconds doing the sort of bash racing that we do. So we'll be fitting on a nice red 30 degree north big flex body. And I will put a link in the description below where you can get all these parts from. The first thing to do is get this old tin can exhaust off of there. Now we've got to put this new header on and we will be fitting a whole new gasket as well. That's the header all on there. Now we've just got to put it on this. Now this is a bit of a pain, so I'm gonna do this off camera. Mainly, because otherwise you might get some rage. And I know whilst you'd love that, I'm not gonna give it to you. Exhaust is all in there. Sorry about not showing the being fitted. But to be brutally honest with you, it was a pain in the backside. The fitment of these is not particularly good. You don't get the right fittings with it. No countersunk screw for the chassis. I had to buy an M5 bolt there because there is no way you could use a hex there. Absolutely no way. So from a fitment point of view, I don't recommend the VCR or the Victory RC exhaust. I don't know what it's like performance wise, but fitment wise, now we've got the much easier job of fitting these ATOP axle extenders onto there. Oh my, that was so much easier than fitting the exhaust. If anyone was wondering what the extra extension is, on the left is the stock hub, and then you've got the A-top extended axles there. So it's given a fair bit of extra width. And we all know size matters. Get the other three on there off camera. That's all the hubs fitted. Now we need to fit this Power HD 65 kilo servo into the throttle and steering. 35 pounds. Uh, I'll put a link down below where you can get these from. Absolute bargain. <laughs> Ah, the exhaust gets in the way for this one. Ah. This, this is a gas powered RC car. We have put in the rubber grommets. Just helps protect the servos from all that shaking and vibrating that's going on from that massive engine. That's a new servo all nicely in there. Now the only thing left to do is to replace this beautiful body with a 30 degree north big flex. And to do this, we're gonna use some Kevin Talbot magic. Are you ready? Three, two, one, shazam. There she is guys. Let me know what you think down below in the comments. There's only one thing left to do. Get over to Ark and it's time for me to race Callum. Or is Jack going to steal this one off of me? Oh, look at that guys, it's beautiful. We put the red bead locks on from Back RC and Callum has swapped over and put the Rockstar red blades on there. And now he's gone and done what? Stolen it. Stolen what? Your car off you. Can you believe it? Done all that work, the new car. And guess who wants to drive it? Me. All right, see how loud this is. Oh, oh, oh. 
No! <laughs> Bad what? happen! Rob, Rob, Rob! Mark the 100 millimetre mark! It's the What? I don't know if you're going to hear me, guys! The cannon's going to take it out! It's a quick run! Wrenching on Robbie's car. He should be wrenching on our car. Doesn't need it. It's so it wrenches on somebody else's car, but not our car. Callum seems to think he can beat me round the track. Easy. I have been relegated to the blue older one. I have to say, Callum does make it look a lot easier than what it actually is. So bad. I just want to get a lap. How do you make it so easy, Callum? Because it is. <laughs> How are you making it look so hard? Don't know. How did you find that? Easy. Too easy. easy. Well, there was no competition there, was there? He's got a cheek, hasn't he? Young whippersnappers of today. I'm going to have to learn and actually beat him, but I think it could be the car. So next time out, I'm going to have the red car. And you're having the blue car. No. Tell them they're in the blue one. I'm in the red one. See if it makes a difference. But just me and you left. Maybe but you can complete a lap now. Without getting taken out. <laughs> The damage isn't too bad. We've just popped a rod end. That's a proper chunky monkey lunky bunk. What is it? What? I don't know. It's a gouge taken out of it. What is it? A gouge taken out of it. I'm not saying chunky monkey wonky. So Mark, we're all waiting for you to get your car out with a new engine. What have you gone and got yourself? 40 GT. From where? Taylor RC. And how much power does this have? Three and a half, four times as the OBR. Oh, That's so about 50. 50 what? Horsepower? 50 millimetres an hour. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's about 50 mile an hour, that's yeah. So so it's just, it's so quick around the track, it's literally just too hard to drive. Look at the size of that pinion. Is that a 29? 29.50. 29.50? What do you reckon, Jack? When, when, are, we, when are we getting one? <laughs> when are we getting one? <laughs> what do you reckon, Alan? When are we getting one? <laughs> I hate to say it, mate. It's an attire. I think you've got too much power. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, he's got the bits. These are my bits. Little, little, pre little present. Special bits. Like I've got a bit here. Come on, Dennis! Yes! You're not ready yet, are you? No. You're not ready yet.
These things are so damn dangerous. Oh. Oh. Jay again. Jay again. Right. Always you. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I think we're going Callum first, Jack second, Jay DNF for taking me out, and Dennis third. And the final five laps. I'm going to move from here though. on to win it he told me that was only four laps it yeah it, was, it, was, it weren't five laps <laughs> and callum, <laughs> callum messed me up as i had to get out of the way oh callum what's happened <laughs> you broke it i broke it oh time for a new pool start look at the poor red car it's definitely been in the wars as we've always said i've been racing 